Now, yesterday I was showing some a little video about bearding, and bees were really just getting started. They weren't bearding real strong yet. <laughs> Go some of my neighbor's deer. <clears throat> they weren't going real strong yet, so it was really hard to describe what I was showing. But this is a little bit better. Now, if we notice, they've they've started on the top, but around the center, they've really started working down on the bottom board, and they're all clustered together. And again, it's important to remember that uh, if you know what's going on inside your hive, you know that this is uh, just simply them cooling off and, and relaxing. Uh, if you do find this and you're not sure what's going on, it's entirely possible that your hive is full and there's not room for them. All the more reason to make sure that you know what's going on. But I, I do know, like I said before, I've been in this hive recently. And I know that the uh, brood chamber isn't backfilled with honey and pollen, that the queen has lots of room to lay, and that the hive is not full. There's still lots of room for bees and for them to store. So that, and you don't see this behavior uh, in the middle of the day. It's just at night when the scouts are in, coming back home to rest for the night. And what they'll do is they'll hang out here until dawn tomorrow, and then they'll take off this cluster will break up and they'll leave and they'll continue to on their way and be business together nectar and pollen and water for the hive now a few clues um, if they're getting ready to swarm, usually the bees are a little bit more agitated. Uh, you, there would be a lot more noise. If anybody's ever heard the bees actually swarm, uh, there, there's no mistaking that sound. And if you see this, after the spring buildup, uh, when the bees numbers are at their best, it's pretty much just a sign that you have a healthy hive. That's another reason why we really advocate uh, these top bar hives is because of how strong they are. And I will, just to give you a rough idea, granted it's not an accurate representation. Let me see if I can fix this without them getting too mad. It's not an accurate representation, but I will go and we'll go down through the lines. And the reason why it's not an accurate comparison is because I have recently um, split the lines, so there's not as many bees as there are in those hives as there is in this particular one. You'll see a less few few scragglers coming in to uh, drop off their daily load of uh, nectar or water, more than likely. I don't see any pollen coming in. On this left hand corner they still have open form to come in and out. Okay, this is just a quick shot. See, these hives have been split recently. So you can see that there's a few bees hanging out. But all the entrances are closed. Because there's not quite as many bees in each one of these as I would like. but compared to the top bar hive, they're very, very low in numbers. And a lot of that has to do with the room. Those top bars aren't in use quite at the moment. If you have this one box here compared to, and if you go to our website, you'll see all kinds of pictures. The average top bar is about four feet long. There's just so much more room for the bees to do what they, they want to do. There, I had to throw some weight on this because it warped and they were robbing this out. I got a video, but it isn't that good. I'm still debating if I want to post it for you guys or not. They were trying, the robber bees were sneaking in this right here, this crack. It had warped up high enough that bees could get in. 
and I threw all this weight on there to help flatten it out. And that appeared to have stopped the uh, robbing behavior. <laughs>